Do you want my eyes? Are you not able to see properly? What do you want? Hello, hello, hi guys, welcome back to the Football Showdown channel. An exciting, exciting match for all the Arsenal fans around the world. Arsenal versus Chelsea. A thrashing, a humiliating performance from Chelsea. An absolute class, an absolute juggernaut performance from the Arsenal in this London derby. Arsenal have absolutely smashed Chelsea. And to be honest, I do not know where to start. Maybe let's start from the first half, step by step. First half, we got the early goal in 4 minutes. It was an amazing uh, set of play from Havertz, Rice and Trossard. And then you had that amazing uh, small 1-2 from uh, Rice and Trossard on the LHS side. And then it was done. An amazing, amazing, cold, cold finish from Trossard. But at the, by the end of first half, we had only one goal to show. In my humble opinion, I thought we were going to concede very, very soon. Because look at the way that we played the first half. First half, we've at least conceded two proper, proper chances. At least a total of, I think, an aggregate of about four to five shots or four to five chances where we could have conceded had Chelsea been clinical. But to our own luck and for all Arsenal fans, we can all be very, very happy that Chelsea have spent the money and, and have employed Nicholas Jackson. He made a good set of runs. How uh, that's how I predicted how he's going to be playing even in the previous video with my Chelsea fan and then him being Nicholas Jackson he was properly trash absolute trash when it came to finishing if Nicholas Jackson took his chances today I'm sure we would have been playing a different game it wouldn't have been a 5-0 I think it would have been a much much closer game because till the first half we played beautiful football, we played amazing football, we were oozing class, we had a lot of balance, we had a lot more structure, we had a lot more balance to the midfield and yet we had only one goal to show that for. And then I was so happy that the halftime whistle blew because I was honestly praying, I was praying that uh, the halftime whistle blows as soon as possible because I wanted Arteta to talk to his boys as soon as possible because we will look shaky and to be very very honest Saliba and Magales I have no idea what happened but today they look very very shaky when compared to the rest of the team now second half started what a positive start an ultra positive start to be very very frank you know like in the first half, we scored a goal within four minutes, and in the second half, we scored a goal within seven minutes. It is absolutely blistering start from the Arsenal. Then the third goal came, then the fourth goal came, then the fifth goal came. I think all Arsenal fans can agree with me for a fact that we wanted Kai Havertz to dunk on Chelsea. He had a couple of chances in the first half. And since we're talking about Kai Havertz, I might stay away from the entire positivity. Um, uh, with a point or two. Kai Havertz in the first half, he brought the width in our play. He brought in a lot more composure or, or he was our target man when when we were going uh, forward. But he was genuinely very frustrating for me. It kind of reminded me of the Havertz who played the first four to five games till he got that uh, the knack of scoring goals or knack, a knack of contributing uh, to a game. Because till then, he ran into open spaces. He ran into free spaces. He created a lot of uh, space for the team by taking away defenders as well but then he just gave away the ball so poorly and then the second half started I do not know what Arteta spoke or what uh, the water had in them probably it was prime probably it was that magic as well but I think prime is under controversy so let's not talk about that I do not know what magic Arteta worked uh, with his boys but the second half oh I still remember before the sec before the goal went before the second goal went in there was an amazing ball from uh, from Odegaard which was a brilliant run from Havertz which couldn't be finished uh, unfortunately because if that goal went in from that ball uh, Odegaard put in to Havertz and Havertz made a superb run and scored it would have been fantastic but nonetheless Kai Havertz dunked on Chelsea twice Kai Havertz is red London is red. And let's talk about the overall play. In my opinion, I felt Saka would be taken care of by Kukureya. Honestly, 
that's what I feared. And looking at the how, looking at how the game went through, I thought Kukureya was doing well. But then something just clicked. Saka had a moment of brilliance. He sent Kukureya back to uh, back to uh, Brighton or even Spain. And from then on, Kukureya was on a spin. Saka kept playing him, kept playing him, kept spinning him. And then finally, 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 Kukureya gets a yellow card. And once he gets the yellow card, he was almost ineffective against Arsenal. And speaking of cards, I'm genuinely surprised Nicholas Jackson was played throughout the 90 minutes. I honestly was surprised how he was not sent off in the first half itself after that horrendous fall on Tommy Asso. Now speaking about Tommy Asso, Arsenal fans have been raving for this player to be fit fit for so so long for that specific reason you can see him that boy will start as a defender he will be in the midfield when when building up and then he will be somewhere in the attacking position sometimes even as a striker we've seen this many times we hope to see this more consistently and that is hope that is the hope that we have even when we go and play the nld as well our backline was amazing ben white ben white oh my god i do not know where to stop the praises man that dude, I do not know what, I don't know how he plays his game, but he was just brilliant today. He deserved to score that goal for us. He ended up scoring twice. <laughs> the second goal probably was very, very lucky. I'm sure he won't admit it, uh, no matter what. But yeah, that goal kind of reminded me of Saka's goal during lockdown and Modric's goal uh, when he played at the Stamford Bridge. And the midfield, Thomas Partey. He is such a frustrating player to have at the Arsenal. I cannot even lie when I say that he is probably the best midfielder that we have. But because of his injuries, injury issues, I want Arsenal to cash in on him as soon as possible. Don't get me wrong. He's been brilliant whenever he played. But he takes time to get in. But today, somehow he was on it from the moment we started playing. The way he brought in balance to that midfield where, where Rice is going more advanced and helping a trusser. And... To be fair, I think even Rice has scored two goals or assisted... Sorry, he has assisted two goals. So, that was brilliant from Rice as well. And Odegaard, to all the fools out, out there, for all the people who are having agendas on Odegaard. So, I'm really glad for him. Uh, nonetheless, it was a superb, superb performance. Kai Havertz is red. London remains red. On we go to play <sighs> the North London derby. Until I see you guys soon. Till then, good morning, good evening and good night till wherever you are in the world. Peace.